guys in this video I'm going to show you how to take your surreal project from a sketch to a finished project um, this is a sketch and idea that that I've mentioned a few times it's a hamburger as you can see right here it's a hamburger eating a person that's screaming at a McDonald's parking lot now I'm taking this and I'm first gathering my my pictures which you guys have already done you've already done all of your sketches of thinking all the different um, surreal ideas that you have and then you chose one of those and you captured and downloaded the pictures that you need for it for me the pictures that I need for this is a McDonald's parking lot um, it could be any fast food restaurant um, I have the hamburger and then the person so those three images now I have gone ahead and actually downloaded them right um, first the McDonald's parking lot would be the one that that I opened up first later on I might I might delete or crop out actually s some of this side but um, the second thing was the hamburger so I would go in here after opening it up which of course in Pixlr you would go to file open image and then you would look for the M parking lot image then the second thing you would do is go to layer add images layer and you would look for the hamburger which is pexels and then it has some other stuff on there I'm gonna hit OK or open right I could move it with the arrange tool I could make it smaller by pulling the corner I could even flip it horizontally by doing that right there and the reason I'm, I'm flipping mine is because you can see like this kind of lends itself to, to hamburger that could be opened up right so I'm doing that now I've actually got, gone ahead and clipped out that hamburger so I am gonna delete this one but um, I'll show you how, how I did that first well with the lasso select right here the polygonal and I go around actually I would zoom in click click and I really want to get into like the the different um, detailed section maybe not that close Right, always clipping slightly inside all right and then when you get all the way around you'll see that it'll turn them into marching ants like that make sure that your mode is on new selection not on any of these make sure you use the polygonal lasso all right let me delete this one and then I'll show you the one that I clipped out all right there's mine <coughs> All right, so now I could move this over here, and there's one more thing I want to do to it, actually. I do want to separate it into two separate hamburgers, so I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to rename it, so I'm going to click on these three circles right here. Uh, I'm going to call this one top. There you go. Uh, let's see. Slide down. All right, that's the top one. I'm going to click over here. Let me close this ad. There you go. I'm going to duplicate it. Now, top copy. I'm going to move it to the bottom. And I'm going to call this one here. Let me three circles. Instead of top, we'll call it bottom. All right. So now I have to make this the top and the bottom. I'm going to hide the top one. And I'm going to clip out things from, from this one. So again, the selection tool, the polygon. Uh, I am going to pick this section. Hmm. Yeah, for, for the bottom, I'm going to come right around here. And let's see, let me zoom out. Now I can just go around because what I'm going to do is basically delete the top. There you go. And now, if I do Command V or go up to select, deselect, I can see what I have left there. That's good, that's my bottom. And then for the top one, view it again 
I could pretty much take the same, well, yeah, I'm going to take the same route. Mm, can I include that? Yeah, why not? Now I'm going to delete the bottom. It doesn't matter like where you go in here. Like this is all on the top layer. It's not going to delete anything in your other pictures. Hit delete. And it doesn't look like anything just because they're both on top of each other. But if I select this layer, which is the top, select the range layer, and zoom out so you can see it better, I can actually rotate it using this. I can make it look like it's able to eat someone. Now, is it the best? No, I could I could go in there and edit it even even beyond what I did earlier. But it does look like a burger that that's ready to, to eat someone. So I need someone to eat. So I'm going to come into layer, add image as layer. And the last image is going to call is going to be called guy screaming. I hit open. I could rotate oh flip it. Actually, I could rotate it using this. Um, it is a little small. I could make it slightly bigger. That is a no, no, but I'm still going to do it. Um, Let's see, I'm going to put this in here. Uh, yeah, somewhere around here. All right, and then I could go in there and again with the polygon and lasso tool. Now, if this had a white background and he had the pink shirt, easily I could use the wand select, but because they're both pink, I'm going to click on the selection tool again. Remember that there are videos that I've uploaded into our YouTube channel that um, kind of just shows all the different different tools that, that you could use to clip things out. So I'm going to use the polygon and lasso tool. I'm going to click all the way around. Yeah, I'm going to do a horrible job because I'm rushing it just to make sure that this video is not too long. You don't need to see me clicking. There's a whole video dedicated to just how to use the the polygon lasso tool, how to clip on the inside, um, how to make rounded looking corners, even though you only have straight lines. All right, I have my selection. I go to layer. I'm sorry, select, convert to mask. There it is. I could move him where I want. In reality, I could probably just move him. Let me see. Move him behind. I'm sorry. Yeah behind the top one and maybe even move the top one a little bit more down here move the guy a little bit more over here oops grab the wrong one here we go keeps wanting to grab the wrong one let me lock it this like that. Okay, let me unlock it now. And I can move this part down. No. Now, as you can see, looks a little bit better. Um, his hands are not clipped out well. His face is not clipped out well. You could definitely clean up even like the cheese right there um, with this tool, with the brush, with the remove part. Um, yeah, all these things could be cleaned up and that's, that's what I'm hoping that, that you guys do to take the attention to detail, but just thinking about how to put this together, it's just like, like that, just making it layered in a way where it looks like it could actually be a final image. If you did want to crop this part out, the crop tool is right here. This will crop all layers, not just one layer, not just the one you have selected. Let me bring it around here. Let's see. Zoom in. Looks okay. I would actually add a shadow as well, but you know, all minor details. At that point, like, you know, you're you're going into like the small parts of that, but that's all you have to do. So from the sketch, which is right over here to the final. And that's it.